Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video that so many of you guys have requested me to do for such a long time and I don't have an excuse why it took me so long but today I'm finally going to be sharing an updated version of my top 7 blushes because that's all I have here but my top 7 blushes for medium to brown skin or medium slash brown skin. So I don't know if you guys can tell but I actually don't have any, well I do have foundation and concealer but I have no blush, bronzer or highlight on my face right now and I know it looks like really flat and that's the reason why because I do want to go ahead and try out each of these blushes as I talk about them. So without further ado, let's just get right into talking about all of my favorite blushes and you guys can see how they actually look on my skin tone as well. Okay, so the first blush that I love so much and this is actually, I think, my favorite pick from all the ones I'm going to be mentioning today, I think this one is my favorite, which is why I'm just going to talk about it first thing. And this is called Frat Boy from The Bomb. And if you guys are looking for a perfect, like literally perfect, pinky, corally shade that will literally go with any look that you wear, this is the one blush that I recommend. If you're going to pick up just one blush from this entire video, get this one. It is just so soft and pretty. It's not too intense, not too pigmented, but it's also not like powdery and like not, not, not pigmented. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of color, but it's not like over the top. It's just perfection. I literally have to stop myself from using it because it's that pretty and that versatile. And I always have to just tell myself like, Arshia, you have to use some of your other blushes. So I really love the bombs frat boy and highly recommend it. Okay, so my next favorite is from Clinique and this is called their Cheek Pop Blush and this is in the shade Ginger Pop. Now, this is actually supposed to be a flower but it doesn't even look like a flower anymore. It literally looks like nothing now but it was a gorgeous flower. But besides the absolutely stunning little packaging here, this blush is beautiful. If you're looking for that warm, corally blush, I think this is the way to go. Now I know a lot of you guys who have similar skin tone like me prefer warm colors on your face. If you do, I think you will love this blush. And total side note, I feel like this is a really good blush to pair with Indian outfits. I don't know what it is, but like I think the coral warm undertone just works so well and complements Indian outfits so beautifully. I don't know what it is, maybe that's just in my head, but I absolutely love this blush. And also I do find myself using this a lot more in the summertime. Um, just when I'm a little bit more tan. So I think this is a blush, again, that will work for all different skin tones, but if you're my skin tone and a little bit darker than me, I think that this would be a really beautiful, flattering blush for your skin tone. So my third favorite is the Benefit Rockateur, and I just, first of all, love their packaging of their blushes and their bronzers. They're in this like, really cool cardboard box, but it's just so durable. I'm throwing this blush everywhere. I take this anytime I go traveling, and literally none of my blushes have ever broken on me. And here is what the actual blush looks like. It's like a, I wanna say like a dirty, dusty rose, but it has the most incredible sheen. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but I definitely see it in person. It has like a beautiful sheen, so it gives your face such a gorgeous glow. Hopefully my camera's like picking up as I move my face, but you do get a gorgeous sheen on the skin, but it's not like too over the top or like chunky glitter. It's just stunning, subtle sheen, which I absolutely love. I do want to call out that I don't know how well this blush will work for anyone that is darker than me. I think this will work best if you're my skin tone and lighter, but if you are darker than me and you use this and love it, definitely let me know in the comments below. That always helps other people out who are watching this video. So, so if you guys have tried this blush, definitely let me know in the comments below or any of the blushes that I'm talking about. Let me know what your feedback is, if you love them or hate them, in the comment section below. So the next blush is actually the newest addition to my collection and I literally fell in love with it the first time I used it. Now this is from LA Girl and this is their new Just Blushing blush and this is in the shade Just Natural. And when you look at it, I mean literally on my screen it looks white almost so hopefully you can see it a little bit more when I actually go and upload this video but it doesn't look like anything exciting at all. That's basically what my point is. It just looks like a normal ordinary blush but when you apply it on the cheeks it is the most beautiful pinky shade ever, like baby pink shade ever, with a lot of coral undertones. Actually, you can kind of use my nails as reference because my nails are coral, 
and it does match the um, you can see like it's the same undertone so it is a very like pinky coral blush very affordable and I found this to be very long-lasting as well it is matte so again you're not gonna get that sheen shimmer with this at all but it is stunning on the skin and I really really love it so my next favorite blush is Max Dainty Mineralized Blush and this is what it looks like. This is the most perfect pink, like Barbie pink, baby pink blush that I think I own. It is just so pretty. It's not like a matte blush and it's definitely not like one with a glitter. It's just a beautiful pink shade with a lot of like sheen and dimension to it and that's what it looks like on my face. I also love using this blush all year round. I've used this in the winter time, in the summertime, spring, fall, all year round. This blush works for my skin tone and I just love this beautiful Barbie pink. Anytime I'm looking for that perfect pink blush, it's usually always Max Dainty. I was going to call it Max Daisy for whatever reason, but Max Dainty is the way to go whenever I'm looking for that perfect pink blush for my skin tone. Okay, so my next favorite I actually think I should not have done right now. I should have done it last because it looks too similar to Max Dainty, but believe me, it is different, I promise you. But this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Blushing Bride, and I love this blush so much. Again, this is a beautiful, like, true pink blush, but this one actually has a lot of purple undertones. This is what it looks like on my skin. It is very pigmented, so you only need a little bit of product. But because this is like that Amazonian Clay Collection, this is a very long-lasting blush. You literally, I almost feel like this stains your cheeks, but not in a bad way. Like, it'll come off at the end of the night. But you will never have to reapply this blush ever throughout the day. This is definitely a blush that's going to work all across in terms of all different skin tones. Whether you're lighter than me, you're darker than me, this will work for you and it will definitely show up on your skin as well. Okay, we are finally here. We made it to the last blush. Oh my gosh, is that Kobe? Oh, that is Kobe. Wait, I want to see if he wants to come here and hang out with me because I think he just woke up. There he is. <laughs> You guys, can you believe how big he's gotten? I actually cannot believe how big he's gotten. But he's just gonna chill back there with his little toy. And I'm gonna share my last favorite with you. And this is the Kiss Cosmetics or Kiss New York Ombre Radiance Palette. Now this is what the palette looks like. You do get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight all in one, which is really, really nice. And it's like this beautiful gradient palette, which I love. And I really love, of course, the blush, but I also really like this highlight as well. It is so pretty on my skin. So right now, I'm, of course, just wearing this. Oh! Kobe, what happened? <laughs> oh my god, what was that? You scared me. I think he felt like I wasn't giving him any attention. Okay. Let's show everyone Kobe. Everybody wants to see you anyway. Here you go. This is a little Kobe for anyone that doesn't know. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but he's not so little anymore. We just celebrated his six month birthday. What is going on with my camera? But he's so big now. He's about 40 pounds. We're thinking he's gonna be around 55, 60 pounds. So he's still got a little bit to go, but he's seriously, look at that face. Look at that little face. Look at that face. But as I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying now, but um, yeah, I really really love this blush. Um, as you guys can see right now, I am wearing a lot of warm tones. So I am wearing warm eyes, warm lips, and of course my skin is very warm as well. So this blush just complements my skin so well. And it works for a lot of different looks that I do, especially like the more smokier looks. I absolutely love this blush. And I do want to also show you guys that this does add like a lot of sheen to your skin. So it's almost like wearing a highlight and a blush in one almost, uh, but like a very subtle highlight, nothing too crazy. It's just a really beautiful, flattering blush for my skin tone, and I would recommend this palette just for the, um, the highlight and the blush itself. But anyway, that's really it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to also subscribe to my channel and follow me on all of my social media, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.